Hello and welcome. This is an introduction to using WebML. You'll see uh, an email from me that has a link to getting to WebML. Follow that link. Use your name.number, no.osu here, just put your name.number, and then the password. It's going to be based on like your first initial capital and some six digits in your ID number, but follow the email instructions to get, your, get logged in. Once we click log in, we'll be in the system and it takes us to our job manager. So all the jobs that you will have ever submitted will be shown here. Um, and so then if you wanna build a new job, you just simply go to new job, complete new job, or excuse me, uh, create new job. And then it takes us to this builder menu. This builder menu in um, my opinion is pretty poor, but it's not super bad to use. If you see this little button here, if you just double click, it gives us a carbon atom. And then you can click and drag. So you're gonna click an atom, drag it. Um, not sure what that was. Undo works if you accidentally click. I'm just trying to make a hexagonal ring. Um, you don't have to be super perfect with your drawing. There's a way to clean the structure up. I wanna build some benzene derivatives. We're gonna be doing a lot of that because we're setting primarily, oops, um, benzene derivatives in experiment six. And then we can go to clean up to add the hydrogens. There's an add hydrogen button. I don't know why that keeps popping up. I'm... But anyways, then we can go clean up and do this like mechanics optimize, which will sort of straighten all the bonds out and crudely give us a nice sketch of our molecule. So at this point here, we'd have a built molecule, say a benzene. Uh, we could click this arrow button to build um, our calculation. You could add um, and change atoms as well. Let's go through how you would change an atom. So like, let's say we wanna put a chlorine here. What we might do is uh, add the atom and then um, the, uh, oh, there's a periodic table somewhere. Oh, right here. So right underneath the bond button is a, a crude periodic table and then we would just change that to a chlorine and then we can double click an atom and change it to a chlorine. So I think I can do it there too. We might do another cleanup if we make a change. And that should lengthen the bonds a little bit because they were shorter from us just changing an H into the chlorine. Okay, so now we have like a dichlorobenzene derivative. We can click the arrow and that'll take us to the um, calculation choice. We have uh, four different uh, programs that we can choose to run our calculation. I think Gaussian is gonna be the best bet. Um, and so we'll just go with Gaussian for our calculations. Uh, our job name just default to the formula of the molecule. What we get is a similar set of choices here. Notice that your choices are like geometry optimization, vibrational frequencies, optimization and vibrational frequencies. This is our primary one that we've been doing. The equilibrium geometry um, IR calculation is that option. You can see there's some excited state, UV viz, there's some other options here in terms of like orbitals. So we're gonna primarily uh, do a lot of these optimized frequency calculations. You see you get your choice of theory, basis set. One of the things I wanted to point out is you get some of the methods here, like your MP2, MP4, your CCSDT, you've heard of some of these. Um, a lot of the other methods you might wanna choose, you have to simply type them in using the other button. Um, some of you guys may have some interesting methods that you wanna use that you may not quite be clear on how to um, um, submit those. We can talk later about how you might look up in the Gaussian manual on how you might find the you know keywords that you wanna use here to choose the method you're trying to use. But we can just use the, the simple HF method um, for a quick submission. You'd get just a few choices of basis set. You're basically typing in anything other than these here. So you just go to other and then you can type in something different if this isn't the one you want to use. Charge multiplicity. Um, so, you know, uh, if you want to specify an ion, cation, anion, you do that here. Um, if you see something like a doublet, that means we've missed an atom somewhere. So if we drew like a C6H5 derivative, we just left the hydrogen off, it would know that that should be a doublet with the zero charge. So just remember the multiplicity here is the number, uh, it's related to the number of unpaired electrons. So the number of unpaired electrons is related to our multiplicity. So one unpaired electron would be a doublet, zero unpaired electrons, a singlet. So we'll move on. Um, oh, before, oh, it already submitted. Um, I was gonna show um, some of the other things you might choose from. There's really nothing in terms of common calculations we would choose in the more advanced um, tabs on the uh, submission window. 
So you can see here our job is queued. There's 468 jobs ahead of ours. Um, you could click refresh. It actually runs relatively fast. My guess is this will start within the next uh, minute or two. Um, and so once a job finishes, um, in a later video, we can go through how to get some of the results out of the calculation. All right, thanks for the attention.